Welcome to Rail Fails, the series where I go through major failures in railroad history and tell you about them. Today we shall be discussing the 1968 Tullock Double Decker Tower Cars. In 1966, after the success of the Tullock Double Decker Trailers made in 1964, something that actually worked, tenders were called for Double Deck Motor Cars. In 1968, four power cars were made and put into service. They were numbered C3801 to C3804. They were coupled with four Tullock trailers. These were T4839, T4840, T4843, and T4844. They were formed together and made the world's first fully double-deck EMUs in the world. Well, actually, it's the second double-deck EMU in the world because of the Belide double-deckers back in the 30s, if I remember, but they're not really properly double-decker. That, that's a story for another time. The set was labelled S10. But why 10? Well, back in the 50s, Tullock made nine single-decker A-car sets. They were numbered S1 to S9. Now back to S10. This set broke down constantly. All the power cars had electrical equipment made from different companies. C3801 used Mr. Bishi, 3802 used Toshiba, 3803 was Hitachi, and C3804 used English Electric. I think you can already see how there would be problems. There would be situations where the train would break down and most of the people doing the maintenance would not know how to fix the units that broke down. In 1977, it was decided that the set would be disbanded. C3801 was converted to T4797 in 1980, and C3803 became T4799 in 1982. C3802 was going to be converted into T49, T4798 at Elkar Workshops, and it started to be converted, but it was never finished and was eventually scrapped. C3804 was preserved at the New South Wales Rail Museum at Felmere. C3804 was withdrawn on the 4th of January 1980. That's all there is to say. Pretty much sorry for the very long wait. It's been, what was it, six months? Six months. Oof. Uh, and stay tuned for episode three. Yeah.